Some of you will have watched the brilliant documentary, We Were Kings. Again, find, our, find examples of this everywhere, all right? George Foreman, okay? Brilliantly powerful boxer, bludgeoned all his opponents into submission. If you've been successful doing that approach, why bother changing it, okay? Now, some people say that Muhammad Ali was fearful of that. I'm not sure he was. My view is that, it's like, I know George hits the heavy bag really hard, okay? I know that. Why do I need to see that over and over again? So what Ali did was basically soak up the punches, okay? In the hot heat of Africa, he basically sucked it up and just took a lot of punishment, all right? And in about the eighth round, he pulls George Foreman in close, and he just says to him, is that all you've got? And George's one mental model, his one way of fighting a boxing match, no longer works because he's not having an effect. But because he's built his success on that model, he can't change when he's under pressure. He can't adapt to the circumstances. All right? And then Muhammad Ali is able to go after him because he's exhausted.